EES, which is pronounced EES, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. In this video, we're going to learn about variables in EES that contain strings, which are sequences of characters. And we'll also learn about some functions that are associated with these string variables. Now, these are very different variables from the numerical variables that we've dealt with up until this point. A string variable is identified by a variable name that ends with a dollar character. Uh, just like other variables, the variable name must begin with a letter and uh, can only consist of 30 or fewer characters, including in this case the, the dollar character. String variables can be set directly to string constants, which are just strings, and we indicate those by enclosing them uh, with single quotation marks. So here I've set the string variable a dollar sign equal to the string carbon dioxide. String variables can be used in ease equations anywhere in which character information is provided. So for example, in section 4 of this tutorial we're going to discuss ease's internal database of fluid properties and in order to call any of these functions it's necessary to specify what the fluid is with some characters and so this is an example where uh, we're going to get the um, thermal conductivity uh, of the material aluminum at a temperature 300 Kelvin. So aluminum is a string constant that is sent to that function. Um, we can provide that same information with the string variable, in this case s dollar sign, as shown here. And this is uh, really handy in large programs where you'd like to just specify the, the, the material or the fluid one time. String variables are going to become more and more useful in ease programs as we get to uh, more advanced features. So for example, a string may be used to supply or specify the units of other variables. So we'll get to that when we get to the units section of this tutorial. But here, uh, just sort of as a preview, uh, I can specify the units of the variable k using this string u dollar sign right here, watt per meter kelvin. String variables can be passed as input or output arguments to internal functions, procedures, modules, and subprograms, or even to external functions and procedures as described in sections 3 and later on 10 of this tutorial. Um, this is an example of a function that uses a string variable as an input parameter uh, to decide how to assign the function a numerical value. Um, this is a different function now that's using a numerical input variable uh, as, a, as a method to decide how to assign this string function a string value. So this function as an output returns a string. String variables become particularly useful in the diagram window. Uh, when we get to the point where we're trying to generate professional looking graphical user interfaces for ease programs as we will discuss in tutorial 15. String functions are provided in ease in order to uh, work with or use string variables and a complete list of these string functions uh, can be obtained in uh, appendix B of the Mastering Ease book. and these can also be accessed from the function information dialog as shown here. Uh, these string functions can be broken into a few different categories. Um, these are the string functions that deal with directory and file names. So for example, the string function easefileName$ returns the complete file name of the current ease file that you're working with together with all of the directory information. Uh, the function short file name dollar removes all of the directory structure information from a file name. String functions that are useful for operating on other strings are shown here. So for example, uh, the chr dollar sign function returns a string that consists of the character associated with the ASCII code of the input. So here we get g if we put in this input. The concat dollar sign function connects two smaller strings in order to form a larger one. A 
Lookup and parametric tables are covered in later sections of this tutorial, but there are a set of string functions designed to operate on these kind of uh, ease tables. So for example, the function lookup tab name dollar returns the name of the table that appears with the specified tab. Uh, other functions here can retrieve strings within a lookup table or the names of columns of a lookup table. Finally, there are functions that provide information about time and about units. So the time dollar function returns the current time. Uh, the units of dollar function returns the units that are set for the argument variable. So here the units of the variable k are returned with this function. String variables and functions become very useful as we move into more and more advanced features of ease. And uh, this is one, again, of a series of tutorials that's meant to describe the operation of the ease software. And if you want to get more information about ease or obtain the software or access more of these tutorials, uh, please go to fchart.com. Uh, these tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the fchart website.